Uh, my name is Chris Wanowski. I'm the head golf coach at the College of Lake County. Um, you get a stronger sense of community at a uh, community college as opposed to like a four-year university. And especially working for CLC or coaching at CLC, you have such a great support system. Um, everyone in the, in the athletics department uh, really supports the student athletes and the coaches. When I go to tournaments, what I see a lot is a lot of coaches really kind of hounding their players about, um, you know, making a mistake um, and getting on them. And what I've found is that that's very counterproductive. What I try to do is I'm much more encouraging. Um, everyone out there is trying their best. And so if someone makes a mistake, um, I just tell them to stay focused. Um, and they usually can do that with very little issues. After the round, they know what to work on and they know that, you know, competing at this high of a level um, at the, you know, competing against the best college players in the, in the conference, in the region, and then in the country, um, they really know what they need to work on. Last season, we actually went from last place to first place. So now we're, we are the reigning conference champions and we're really looking to continue that. Um, we've recruited a couple solid players for this year and we kind of maintain the core um, from last year. We formally meet for practice twice a week. The expectation um, when you're playing at a high level like in college is that you're practicing five, six, maybe even seven days a week, basically on your own. Uh, but we meet for practice twice a week and it kind of depends on how many guys we have on the team. If it's exactly five, which is how many we play in tournaments, then we'll go out, we'll play a bit, we'll keep playing until the sun goes down, or we'll go hit the range, we'll chip and putt, we'll basically do whatever um, the, the guys need to work on. Other than being a good golfer, you know, we're looking for good people. When we invest in a student athlete, we're investing in that person. You know, it's not just about how you perform on the course, it's about how you perform in the classroom. We want the good students, we want the students that are, you know, hopefully going to make the honor roll or even the dean's list or something like that. Um, doing well on the course and in the classroom can really also help that student transfer to a four-year school and even get scholarship money. We really support our student athletes academically. Um, there's always someone in the office that can help out. Nick Skandrit, the athletic director, he's just phenomenal. We have study zones, we have a full-time academic and success compliance coordinator or something like that who reaches out just making sure you know that accountability piece is there. I love seeing the golfers excel in the classroom and on the course. As a coach I would lean towards how well they do on the course. When I recruit players and then when you when you see them compete and compete at a high level and then finish all conference and finish all region and to, to see that satisfaction on their faces of, of how years and years and years of practice can finally pay off at a high level, that's pretty cool. Seeing that excitement on their faces from how well they do, that's really the coolest part for me.